There are few things more beautiful when two people are in perfect harmony. Harmony. Acoustic guitar playing is no different. So today, we're going to take a pretty basic acoustic guitar chord progression, and we're going to come up with another part that is going to harmonize the original part, and it's going to sound like this. Ready? <laughs> Right? How about that? Perfect harmony. Amazing. Great playing, Andrea. Oh, thanks. This is a song that we actually just posted as a cover on her channel, which I'm going to link you below. But I thought it was a perfect opportunity to talk about just maybe taking some simple chords and what you can do to add that on top of that if you want to make like a duet out of it or something like that. So the chord progression is super simple. It's G to B minor to A major. And then the A major gets split with an F sharp. So like A major on top of it. F sharp to get you back to the G. So the first part would be a G to B minor to A. Which sounds cool, but when you have two guitarists, you want to have, you know, you don't want to just have, have a the same thing. Free, a free launch, a free ride. I don't want to just coast off your coattails like you do mine most How of the dare time. You. Right? It's really so, the other way around. so why don't you play the chords? Yes. And then first I'll play just the same chords. Okay. Two, three, four. Where are you, Andre? I can't hear you. We're fighting. We're competing. Yeah, you know? Then it just becomes a battle. A battle of wills. Who can play uh -huh. the loudest? Yeah, and she usually wins. No, I don't. So I, I try to make myself useful in some way. We got this G major chord. What do I do instead? I want to play a G instead in this spot of the neck, up here somewhere. That's why. Why not? That's why it's very important to learn your chord voicings, right? Yes. Do you know which chord voicing I chose to put on top of that G major chord? Major seven. How about that? Look at this G major seven chord voicing. That's why it's really great to know your root notes all along the E and the A string because you can easily find. Another G here, 3rd fret on the E string is the same as the 10th fret on the A string. So the tip there is take whatever fret you're on number-wise on the E string, add 7, and then go to the A string, Wait, and there's your really tip. that's really how it works? That's exactly how it works. Wow, I would have loved to know this years ago. Maybe you should have a guitar teacher. Uh-huh. So 3, what's 3 plus 7? 10. Boom! Whoa! There it is. There's the next one around. Now, do you know why that is? Because the way a guitar is tuned is like, okay, the fifth fret on the low E string is the same as open on the next thing. So five will get you there. Five plus seven is 12. There's 12 notes all in music, which gets you to an octave. But again, wow. just a quick pro tip for you. That's helpful. Three to 10. Same note, uh, an octave up, a pitch up, and then we're gonna put this shape on it. 10A, 12D, 11G. 12B. So now I'm choosing to do a different type of chord voicing, but I could easily do the same chord voicing. So maybe just strum like a lower G chord real quick. And then just keep strumming it. That's just another G chord. I'm kind of extending the range of her G chord. And then when I add a different voicing, it just kind of really just extends the chord and makes one big beautiful piece of music. Yep. So what's the next chord in that progression? B minor. B minor. So Again, we're down here. Maybe I want to add something a little in the middle here. Because in acoustic guitars too, you, you could just octave all the way up, but a lot of times it's difficult. This is a famous FG14 with a cutaway, so it is possible to just play everything uh, octave higher, but not all acoustic guitars have cutaways like this. So I just went to this one, which is, again, not so far away from the last one, but it is a different type of chord voicing. So I've got my middle finger on the B, on the 7th fret of the low E string. I'm skipping the A string. 7 D, 7 G, pointer finger 5, B. So now when you play a B chord, B minor chord, maybe just strum it. Keep going. 
So we're not competing with each other. We're doing something a little bit different that kind of adds to it. We're mixing. That's right. We're mixing it up. So what's the next chord? A major. A major. Okay. Everybody knows A major. Everyone knows that. Right? And then a lot of people just know the open chords because they don't want to mess with the bar chords. Right? You're like, ah, bar chords are hard. But guess what? There's a secret hidden inside these bar chords. Look at this. What if I just have my pinky here and my middle finger here and just the note that my pointer finger was on and then I swap my pinky out for my ring finger. That wasn't complicated at all. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have... Play what you said. Yeah. Just right here. Just it's like an F shaped chord where an A major bar chord would be and then now it becomes an extension of an A that we're kind of doubling up a little bit that no, next... Really okay. fancy. Yeah, it is fancy, right? It's super fancy. And then in this particular instance, did you know that the open E string is a note in an A major chord? Let's keep that. Let's keep that there so we get a double. And then, like you said before, in the original way, it's A major. And then the last bar is split with that F sharp below it. Guess what I'm gonna do? Take You're a wild guess. Split it. And the just like the original. But I'm gonna put it on top. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So here's here's another trick. We have two on the low E string is the same as seven on the B string. So if you ever want to slide from low E to B, you just add five. A lot of, a lot of free math tips going on here. I hope you can yeah. add. You know, whatever, yeah. You know, if you can't add, that's fine. Because you're a musician and things will go well for you anyways. Because you're subscribed to the Sean Daniel channel, right? Boom. Yeah. Boom, okay? So, instead of playing the low part, I can go. However I want to add that up. And then, track it all the way back. So this is just one example of how you can double up open chords with chord voices that aren't hard. By the way, nothing that I've done is a bar chord. I hope, I hope you know. Oh yeah, it actually is. Some people look at this guy and they're like, that's a bar chord. Well, it can be a bar chord, it doesn't have to be, just a middle four. E minor 11. Keep your ring finger there to go right to your hand. Slide it down. Jump in. So, this is just one example of how to do it. Really, it's just talking about finding an open chord you want to find a duet partner with, and then doing it in a different spot of the neck, maybe a different chord voicing, a million different ones to choose from. If you want to sound like Sean Daniel, make them all major seven or minor 11 chords. Great place to start, I think. And then what are the people going to do after they decide? Well, this is based off a cover we just did, so we'll link you to that below. And if you mm -hmm. want to go see it, you can. Mm -hmm. Notice we're not mentioning the cover. Be right. And because we want it to be a surprise. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot. That's totally why. I thought it was more of a surprise thing, but I guess. Trying but greedy fight. Andrea trying to, trying trying to count Sony. her money and trying to make that <laughs> fighting Sony. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's just greedy me. Greedy, greedy Andrea. So go give her some of your money over on her channel. Even though I'm not. Because monetized. that's all she. Li oh yeah, you're not monetized yet. That's sad. Uh huh. Man. Well, once that happens. Look out. Sky's the limit. Look out. <laughs> Be wearing fur coats. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Poor animals. Oh, oh, wow. That's beautiful. All right. Anyways, go sub to Andrea because we need to get her monetized. So I have another stream of revenue because 80% oh, yeah. of what she makes belongs to me through that <laughs> terrible contract you signed on Winning Oh, that's funny, back in the Sean. Day. Yeah. That's uh -huh. funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. <laughs> nice to see you.